It's a long way to go. Be interesting to see how it unfolds. Taking diamonds and turning them into coal. Seriously. That's what it is. Oh, the stream water. I'm gonna get jogging again. Early morning on the fourth day, you can see the sky is starting to light up, and it's just the perfect kind of a day. It's funny, I try not to get sucked in by using the last day as a phrase because it's a long way to go. Interesting to see how it unfolds. Let's just call it day four for now and we'll see where we are at the end of the day. The morning of the fourth day, got the moon setting over there, just stunning. So, what's the point to all this running? Just another running film? A well-dressed dude passing through magnificent drone shots to beautiful music? Madge is our muse, our vehicle to show off what's at stake. In the words of Professor Lindemeyer, We need more old forests. The best way to get more old forests is to have more protection. Older, left-alone forests are better for water storage. They're less prone to megafires and support lots more animals, and they're the best kind of carbon storage. And of course, such forests are exceptional for running. Rock appreciation. Whoa, look at that dude. Bird watching and picnicking and taking photos while listening to a creek. The numbers don't stack up for logging wood, but it does for tourism in all of their glorious forms. Black Saturday bushfires had burnt vast areas, about 400,000 hectares of forest. And we sat down one morning in a, in a breakfast and um, there were some scientists there, locals, and we said, well, what are we going to do? What can we do to protect what's left? And that was when somebody said, let's do a national park. Park tenure is the strongest tenure available to conserve an area. What you call that park is irrelevant. But the point is, once the delineation on a map occurs and you've got those lines there, then that land should be effectively protected forever. This kind of stuff, it's bullshit. We can do better. We have to do better because I know that there's a better way than what we're doing at the moment. I know that that better way will employ more people, give them better jobs, longer lasting jobs. It's better for the forest. It's better for our climate. It's better for our biodiversity. And it's better for our social well-being and our mental well-being. But it's also better economically. So there's a workforce here in tourism, a workforce in firefighting and fire prevention, and a workforce around carbon. And the size of each of those workforces is way, way larger than the current workforce in wood production. Victoria would be between 110 and $192 million a year better off without native forest logging. That's how much it costs the economy. It's madness to convert 80, 90 year old trees into such low value items. Taking diamonds and turning them into coal, seriously. That's what it is. The government is talking about being out of native forests in 2030. It's too long. Make the change now. Make it so that we're out of native forest logging by 2024. 
we've been operating in pretty archaic ways and there's a lot of awesome change that really needs to take place. Like change is tough and change is different, but change can be really, really beneficial. It's, it's for our own benefit, it's for the benefit of us, it's for the benefit of animals, it's for the benefit of children, it's for the benefit of generations and generations away. But we're just not gotta be afraid of change. It's really devastating when we keep operating in ways we know is very, very damaging to the natural world. And it's silly how we separate ourselves away from that natural world, because we're, we're a part of it. We, we get healthier, the world's healthier. Come on, you'll survive. You'll survive this last little bit. Thanks, buddy. All right. Thanks, man. Bye. Here's <laughs> it, the finish. The sun is a cooking. Oh. Oh, the stream water. Seems like today was there's a few more errors than normal. Oh, I can't believe I didn't fill up my water just then. It's got to be, I reckon, 10, 10 kilometers to go, I think. I think would be probably it. 10K. So. My friend Madge is not telling us the full story here. After running for four full days, his body is in huge deficit. He's suffering. But he's suffering in the best way possible. Here by choice, Madge is feeling out this forest by his feet and legs and lungs and knows what we're about to tell you. This forest must no longer be logged, ever. And his run represents a human experience to tell that story. It's as simple as that. I'm gonna get jogging again. I'm gonna miss running tomorrow. Marshmallow rocks. It's gotta be one of the sweetest places I've ever seen. Yeah, what a forest, eh? That's a... That's a big place. It's a good one. I guess they are. I guess this is just the beginning of the work. How do you know you've had a good day on the trails? You gotta check your crust line. Look at that, five lines of crust. Goodness, good. That is a good day on the trails. Crust line is strong. 
still tastes good. Happy, happy days. Still tastes good.